Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well and thank you for watching this clip on adding fractions with different variables. Adding fractions with different variables takes two steps or two basic steps. First thing you have to do is you have to factor it. It's not different from when we're doing the numbers. First thing you have to do is you have to break the numbers down into primes. Well, similarly over here, you have to factor it. What I factor over here is plus one, um, blah, one of those things, minus two and plus one. Okay, over here I have minus one, minus two. Now, if this is not clear, you can go on to my channel. That's Tucson, T-U-C, T-U-C, S-O-Z-N, math doc. And look up under factor, type in the word factor, and there's a whole bunch of stuff that will show up. Anyhow, assume you know this one, and then what you need to do is you got to cover all the bases. I need x plus 1, I also need x minus 1. It's kind of like a election. You want to cover all your bases, all your constituents, the races, and their concerns. So we're covering x minus 2, plus 1, and minus 1. I don't need another minus 1 or a minus two, actually, x minus two, because I already covered it once. And then, what you need to do is, first term you have two. So this one is taken care of, this one is taken care of, this one is not taken care of. So you're gonna have two times x minus one. So effectively, you're multiplying x plus minus one and x minus one over here. So the bottom becomes what you need, and the top becomes two times x minus one. Now you do the same thing for next one. X minus one is taken care of. X minus two is taken care of. So X plus one is needed. Again, it's the similar analogy. So basically we we'll multiply X plus one, top and bottom. Now once you get over here, 90% is done. But before I get there, I want to show you something. I got a really pretty uh, thank you card today in the mail. It says laugh, love, and live. Isn't that interesting, what life is all about? All right, back to math. So I have 2x minus 2. I'm breaking up the first one, plus 4x plus 4. If you want to write a common denominator, a common multiple on the bottom, and then I'm going to write everything out before I hand the paper in. x minus 2, x plus 1, x minus 1. I write cm there to save myself a little time. So I have a 6x gather those two, and plus two. And that's my final answer. All right, hope that's clear. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan, making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.